everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to be trying some of the products that Faye got me. Faye Blatcher has a YouTube channel. I will link her channel down below. I recently did an unboxing. We did a gift exchange. And if you want to see everything that she got me, definitely check out that video. I will link that video down below as well for convenience. But anyways, um, I did do some of my makeup, so I'm just going to get into this video and show you some of the products that she got me and kind of do first impressions with them. I would definitely love if you keep on watching and if you're new to my channel I would love for you to subscribe as well. Okay so let's get into this. The first product I'm going to try is from Physicians Formula. It is called the Super BB All-in-One Beauty Balm Powder. And this is in the shade light medium. So it's just like a pressed powder and I did put foundation on and concealer and all that so i'm pretty shiny so we're gonna try out this powder earlier today i kind of covered it up but i have a goose egg right here i i don't know i wasn't paying attention and i closed my car door on my head and that hurt pretty bad so yeah i have a bump right there but anyways let's try out this powder there is it is seem like a soft powder and there is a lot of kick up and a lot of product picks up but I feel like it's really gonna set my face and I and there's some coverage to this powder I feel I think it's making my skin look like velvety smooth yeah my skin looks really smooth yeah there's definitely coverage and I don't know I like it, it looks good the next product I'm gonna try is also from Physicians Formula it is it's called the Mineral Glow Pearls and this is in bronze pearl so I thought this was like um, a highlighter, but when I swatch the product, there's like, um, it looks like there's overspray. So when I swatch the product, some of the overspray comes off and it looks like a bronzer, like a shimmery bronzer. So that's what I'm going to use it as today. And I'm just going to use my e.l.f blush brush. I like using this brush for bronzer and a lot picks up. This looks like a soft product as well. But yeah, I like using this powder brush for bronzer because it kind of pinpoints where I want to put the product, but it disperses it as well. Kind of like more like contouring. And it seems like it's doing a good job bronzing. I think it's pretty and it definitely has it has a glow like a sheen to it but it doesn't look like glitter I like it, it makes me look bronzy it's like another good product okay next product I'm super excited to try is the Patrick Star one size um this is his visionary eyeshadow palette it's really nice and I really like the colors in here. It totally reminds me of like a fall color story. Super excited to try this. First, I'm going to go into Manila Sands, the cream shade, and I'm just going to set down both lids. They seem like soft shadows. And I mean, there is a little kick up in the pan, but I don't mind that because it just shows how soft it is. And I was shaving my eyebrows. You know, with those little razors, and I, I don't know what I did, but I started bleeding here. I'm just all beat up today. And for my crease, I want to go into the next shade, which is Taupe Up My Game. It looks like a perfect, like, transition crease color. This just looks like a beautiful, everyday, you know, neutral palette, and I love neutral palettes. It seemed to blend really nice. I really enjoy the color. I'm just going for a neutral look today. I know I'm wearing pastel um, purple shirt. If I wasn't, like, oh God, these greens are so pretty, but I, I think it would clash. So I'm just gonna go really neutral and basic. And I'm gonna go into the shade brownie right here and deepen up my outer V area. It's such a pretty shade. I love like chocolatey brown colors and I'm going to kind of blend it up into the crease as well and I just want to take a clean brush and blend it because that color really went far it really blended I didn't realize it would spread so much really creamy really nice shadows 
Now I want to go with the shimmer. I'm going to go in Walnut Strut or Rebel Gray. That's kind of a cool color. I'm going to go in Rebel Gray. Looks like, like a periwinkle blue. I don't know how it will match with what I'm wearing or with the other shades I put down, but I think it's pretty. Kind of a unique color. Okay, and now I have the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. These are the custom Cole Kaja Eyeliner Trio. And I kind of want to go in with the nude shade in my lower waterline. So there's the nude, the brown, and the black. Okay, so here's the nude. I'll do a swatch. It has like a shimmer. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna put it down there real quick. You don't see it a lot, but you do see a little bit of the shimmer, the shine, and I think it kind of opens up my eyes a little bit more. I'm gonna, I'm not gonna put any um, shadow on my lower lash line. I kind of did when I was blending, but I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Okay, so she gave me this Tarte Double Duty Beauty Man Eater Mascara super excited i have heard wonderful things about this mascara i have tried a tarte mascara before the big ego and the pink packaging and i remember i liked that so okay i was expecting like a different style of brush i don't know if i ever used a brush quite like this before it has really really short bristles they're a little spiky just have to be careful Okay, so here's one eye with, one with eye without, and wow, it, I feel like it really lengthened my lashes big time. I'm not even sure what the claims are on this mascara, and it almost looks like they gave it kind of like a curl, and they look a little, like, wispy. I had to do a little building, but it's beautiful. They don't look clumpy at all. I really like how my lashes look. All right, I'm gonna do the other eye real quick. Mascara's on. I'm not sure if this is the right step I should have done, is put mascara on because I'm going to be trying magnetic lashes. I'm a little nervous. Um, I'm not really good at lashes and I've never done magnetic lashes. So here's the kit right here. I'm gonna try this one because it just looks the most natural and I may have to trim them down. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of try to measure out on my eye. Okay, so now I'm going to put the magnetic liner on. Looks like a brush tip. I feel like I shouldn't have done mascara. Okay, so I put the liner on and I clipped the lashes on here. Let's see how it goes. I'm nervous, guys. Okay, I don't know. I feel like I didn't do it right though. You know what, guys, I feel like I made a big mistake by doing my mascara first because what happened was I got some of the, the liner in my mascara on my lashes, so I'm having a hard time making it stick to the correct spot. Wow, it does look pretty. All right, I'm going to do the other eye of camera real quick. Okay, so I did the other eye. I feel like I did this eye wrong. It just doesn't feel right. It feels uncomfortable. And I feel like the problem is, is that I got the liner in my lashes. So my lashes are like, like kind of like sticking together. And it's just, I don't know. Uh, it's definitely a learn. I'll have to practice more on these. The lashes do look beautiful. It's just. I don't know what I'm doing. See, it feels so weird to open and close my eyes. Okay, so the last product, I don't know how long I'm gonna be able to wear these, <laughs> but the last product is the Elf Candy Coated Lip Set. And I wanna try one of these. They're really pretty. I'm gonna try this one right here, which is Mocha Twisted. I really like the pigment. And since these are plumping, so I kind of feel it tingling. I feel like a slight tingling. It doesn't burn though. And I really like the finish. They're really glossy, but it does not feel sticky. And I love the pigment in them. I think they're really pretty. So, all right guys, that is it for today's look, trying these new products Faye got me. The only thing I'm unsure of is these lashes. I need more practice. I definitely should not have done mascara first. Yeah.
but I like the way they look. They just feel really heavy on my eyes. So, yeah. But, like I said, I will have to keep on practicing and actually read the direction. Try it the correct way. So, yeah, the, I know it was totally user error. But that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I would love to see you in my next one. Have a wonderful day, and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.